Okay, it's 22nd of um, August, it's a bit wet today, it's Sunday, we're not going to go over to the orchard today. Um, a quiet day at home. Um, but I just want to say a bit about vegetable growing and books, and this is particularly in response to James from New Zealand, who's contacted me asking me about books on vegetable growing. There are many, many books on vegetable growing, and I'm a great believer in reading a lot of books and uh, distilling the wisdom from both. Of course, the internet has changed a lot of things as far as that's concerned. But there's one book which has influenced me more than any other in this area, and that's this one here, The Complete Book of Self-Sufficiency by John Seymour. It really should be John and Sally Seymour, because his then wife did a lot of the, the drawings. And uh, this book is one which I recommend to any good life or any self-sufficiency support or anyone who wants to live off the grid but it's worth buying if only for Sally Seymour's drawings you know, which are quite marvellous. John Seymour sadly is no longer with us so he lived a very interesting life uh, he was a soldier, a student, uh, he's travelled the world a fair bit, he did some pretty crazy things, he's written quite a few books, he was a broadcaster. He's most famous, as often considered to be the founding father of the uh, self-sufficiency movement. Um, but what I, want, I, I don't want to particularly give a shout for like, everything that's in this book, it's a very, very comprehensive book, full of amazing things. It's, uh, it's, it's a bargain, uh, however much you pay for it. Um, it... Um, covers a whole load of things. It's worth buying for the drawings alone. It will be worth buying if only for the drawings in the book. I'll show you a few in a minute. It would also be worth buying only for the descriptions of vegetables. Here's a chart here yeah, showing different vegetables. Okay, we can argue about the, the importance he gives to each one. But, you know, broccoli, for example, you know, which seasons of the year, when you plant them, uh, when you hoe them and do this, that and the other to them and um, when you can expect to harvest them. And there are these wonderful drawings here. I don't know how well you can see these. Food from the garden. Winter. You get a picture of the, these, these beautiful drawings. I don't know how well this is going to film. Um, that's uh, winter. That's spring. Sort of stuff that goes on in the garden in spring. Uh, you know, these, gar these drawings are unnecessarily uh, detailed. They're unnecessarily uh, well drawn. I mean, a, a simple diagrams would have been of some use. And up here is the text that accompanies them. Particular stress on the importance of successional planting. Here's early summer. That is to say, uh, uh, you know, with crops like carrots or with French beans, um, you know, you don't plant them all at once, or sow them, you don't put them all in the ground at once, you put them in, you know, at two weekly intervals within a limited time period, all of which is um, very clearly uh, expressed here, for example, uh, you know, looking at peas, you know, you want to put them in February, March, April and May, then you need to hoe them, then you can harvest them, and you might sow some in November for overwintering. And the importance of crop rotation, dividing your land up into sort of one, two, three, four, plots uh, so that you grow different vegetables different years. This isn't going to focus perfectly, but just to give an idea really. Um, late summer is what you do in late summer. The different activities, different actions that are necessary in the garden at different times of year. All, all learn as children uh, in the garden, learning how to uh, do these things, which is just so important for them. And um, again is the autumn. The different jobs at different times of year. Uh, all good advice, all good advice that I've checked out. Um, anyway, I'll keep that brief, but just to say um, if anyone's interested in growing vegetables to feed themselves, um, of all the books that I have read, uh, the complete book of um, Self Sufficiency by John Seymour. Uh, you know, which with Amazon these days and with um, you know, the internet, you don't need me to bother to give you the ISBN. Um, you know, you can track a copy of this down, no doubt. I believe it is still in print. Um, you know, these are the things you do. How to plough a field, how to sow wheat, how to grow vegetables, how to milk a cow, how to slaughter an ox, a snare that'll offend some people, how to sink a well, how to make bricks, how to generate light, how to waste nothing, stay healthy, and live well. So, uh, in other words, that's a strong recommend, um, if you're interested in that sort of thing.